Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's Power Move, I'm gonna show you guys a shortcut that is often neglected, but that can save you a lot of time when you're opening a sub-assembly from a higher level assembly. Ow! So here we can see we're looking at this top level assembly, the bass guitar, and there's a lot of sub-assemblies in this thing, and one of those sub-assemblies has this instrument output jack here. And this output jack is also a sub-assembly and a sub-assembly inside of a sub-assembly. And what I mean is if I click on this cover plate here, which is a part, well that cover plate belongs to a sub-assembly, which is the plate and the two screws. That belongs to another sub-assembly, which is the plate, the two screws, the nut, and the actual output jack. And that belongs to another sub-assembly here, which is the bass body, just the body component of that bass guitar. Well, there's a really cool and often underutilized shortcut in SolidWorks that allows you to quickly navigate that structure right from the graphics area. And here's what it looks like. I will click on this cover plate part and then I'll go into this little flyout menu here next to the open part command. And we can see from this flyout menu, I could choose to open the sub-assembly of the base body, the sub-assembly of the instrument output jack with all the components, or the sub-assembly of just that cover plate and the screws. Lastly, I could open up the part file itself into its own window. So I'm gonna choose this one here, and that makes it very easy for me to get into this assembly, make the changes I need to make, and then close that window and return to the top level assembly. And that is a very underutilized little shortcut in SolidWorks, but it saves you a lot of time because you don't have to click on the part and then come over here into the tree and figure out which sub assembly it belongs to and what it is you're trying to open. For example, here with this component that I just clicked on, I could choose that component and then I could choose to open up the bridge sub assembly into its own window, or I could even just choose to open up that string rest sub assembly. So I'm gonna open that string rest sub assembly, make the changes I need to make, close it, return to my top level assembly, and keep going on with my SolidWorks day. So what do you guys think about that? Did you know about that shortcut? Let me know down in the comments below some places you've already used it or maybe some places you can start using it today. And of course, if you enjoy this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to tune in for the next episode of Power Moves.